My parents are old. <laughs> I actually don't remember a time when they weren't old. They're actually the oldest couple documented in history. My mom had me when she was 70, and my dad was 63. Um, I was a surprise, you know, to, to friends, family, neighbors, crossing guards. I don't, I don't know if you know this, but my parents were actually on the ketchup bottle twice for being the oldest couple in history. It's pretty cool. But I am an only child. I always felt like I was born in the wrong decade. I think it shows. Um, I was raised by my aunt. Um, no one really knows what happened to my parents. Technically, I'm still looking for them. I, I kind of always thought they were in a secret vacation in Cuba and they were gonna come pick me off after they were done. They never came and got me. Um, but yeah, my, my aunt my aunt was a character. She, she was a sex philanthropist. I still am not sure what that is, but she was very open about her sexuality. Um, she was willing to try anything. Uh, I, not sexually, that's not what I meant. I meant just in life. She never let fear keep her from doing anything that she wanted to do. She was actually the one who got me to like Simon and Garfunkel. Um, when I was little, I was terrified of the dark. Um, so she would have me, she would have me sit in the dark and she would play the sound of silence. Um, you know that the first line, hello darkness my old friend, whisper in the sound of silence, you know that. Uh, it, was, it was actually more creepy than helpful, uh, but, but the memory always stood out as a good one. So. But most parents are old as f Hey. Okay, I, I know that yesterday did not go as well as planned, but I mean, who could have foreseen the effects of a rabid sprinkler system on bubblegum? I mean, all we have to do is recoup and, and, and we'll get back with it. It'll, it'll be fine. We can... Car, I'm really not interested in hearing it. I... Simone, we've had setbacks before. Like, all we have to do is come back together and people will know. They'll, they'll know. No. No one knows what we're doing. No one. I... No one, no one knows. And, and I, we, I get dressed up, I go out with you, we, we lip sync, I play an instrument, and people laugh at us. They're not laughing at us. They, they laugh at us, Gar! I don't know how you can't see it, it's like, <laughs> you just don't even see it. It's, it's fine, they're not, they're not laughing at us. All we have to do is show them that anybody can be a musician, like, anybody can do it. Well, I don't want to do it anymore. It's fine, it's, it's, it's fine, like, we, we can get through this. I got a job. What? <laughs> there, I got a corporate position at the coffee spot. You're not even a legitimate employee there. Well, I'm taking the job. I, Simone, you can't. <sighs> okay. The the hermit crab kiosk failed. I, what? I some kid choked, and I I've been lying. For a couple months now. And and the shells every night? They they're they're dead. They're dead ones. Gar, you do this all the time. You string me along with your stupid ideas. Stupid. Stupid. Stupid ideas. And you know, we're we're Simone and Gar from Colonia. And by the way, you really need to change that name. Really. No one can say it. No one can say it. Okay? I, and and we do nothing. That that's the point. It's pointless. So So you don't want to be in, in a band anymore? I don't want to be in a band anymore. Well what about the show? I don't I don't know, I just know I don't want to do it anymore. Why do I care so much? I remember my aunt used to say that when someone gave you an album, it meant something. She said that she used to sit and listen to Simon and Garfunkel and she'd, she'd feel like a poet. She said they allowed you to feel like a poet. They gave you permission to be sentimental. 
She said, we were all 18 and 19 years old thinking we were great philosophical thinkers and poets. If only we had known, she said. But, but she said it in a way like she really wanted to know that she was still that poet. I just want everyone to know that they're still that poet. Okay, mirrors. Mirror. Seats. Okay. Check. Anyone? No. Okay. I'm going to open mic. I know. I'm by myself. I'm one half of the whole. I'm Gar without this Simone. It's, but it's going to be okay. I think, well, I just, I have to do it. So, I'm going. Today, I'm going to my professional job in my professional suit with my newfound professional confidence where I am financially secure and my real professional job that real people do, not we don't lip sync at this shit. Gosh. Are you aware that open mic is tonight? Yes, I am. Okay. Eyes on the road, eyes on the road. But where is there food? Food, 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 where? Food, glorious food. Is this actually a passageway for cars or for small things? I don't see nothing wrong. With a little on the ground, I don't see nothing wrong. Who makes who makes cobblestone roads? Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania does. Who makes cobblestone roads? Who does that? Who? Oh my gosh. Donuts, donuts, donuts. Uh, I know it's gonna be weird. Like, everyone's gonna be like, who is that afro haired, turtleneck wearing lip syncer on stage? But I have to do it. I have to do it. It just made so much more sense when Simone pretended to play the guitar. It's a sign! It's gonna be okay. How do I get out of here? Simone never liked the live version of the music because she thinks that it takes away from the quality of the song. But I'm using a live version today because I think that it encapsulates the electricity of the youth performance and Plus, the built-in applause sometimes tricks people into clapping because they think other people are doing it. So, I'm doing it, and that's fine. Why is this door so heavy? Oh, gotta sign in. Okay. <sighs> 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 <sighs>